all welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel this is Darren and today I'm gonna do smoked sausage and I'm gonna do a all beef sausage today right. what um, I did is I took a brisket point I'm doing a brisket cook on another video you'll probably see that down below but um, what I'm gonna do is I took the brisket point and some of the trimmed fat and I mix I'm gonna mix it in with some London broil that I'm cutting up now uh, into small real small cubes I'm gonna make about five five to six pounds what of I'm gonna do so I already cut up the point and most of the fat from the brisket and what I'm gonna do is finish chopping up this uh, London broil and we're gonna add it into it and then we're gonna throw it in the freezer for about an hour so we can tighten that meat up because we run it through the meat grinder we want it to be you know pretty tight so it goes through the grinder real easy uh, I always suggest if you're making sausage to make sure you get the meat tight it doesn't have to be completely frozen but you want it as cold as possible so that it goes through the meat grinder real easy so I bought some uh, prepackaged seasoning for it this is legs old plantation seasonings you can get it on Amazon there's also a few other brands lamb is another one um, I'm going to use this today so there's instructions on here if you're not, this is this is uh, good enough for 25 pounds but there's instructions on here on how to calculate to uh, do lesser so this is going to be about six pounds when I'm done so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this up and I'm going to show you I'm just going to cut it into small real small cubes because I'm not going to run this through a coarse grind first I'm going to take a little bit of Aaron Franklin's advice I watched a couple of videos of him making sausage and he just run it through the grinder once and the medium grind so that's what I'm gonna do instead of having to run it through the, the uh, meat grinder twice I'm gonna just run it through once and I'm gonna run it right into the sausage casing so it's gonna go on a medium grind so I'm cutting up the meat in the pretty small cubes here so that it goes through the grinder okay guys easy. I went ahead and um, measured out the seasoning that I'm going to need from the packet for the amount of meat I'm doing and I'm going to went ahead and I put about um, a half a cup of water in here so that it can mix up real well and I'm just going to go ahead and throw this um, seasoning mix in. I did put in. a little bit more than I thought the, that it needed so but you go ahead and I'm going to my hands are really clean so <laughs> just washed them really good in uh, in warm soapy water so what you want to do is go ahead and mix this up by hand and then throw it in the freezer for a little bit to toughen it up so when we run it through the grinder it's all seasoned and ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and I'll see you guys back the, when we're starting uh, to stuff it in the freezer a little over an hour it's not frozen it's just really really cold so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, seasoning the meat already I added a little bit of water mixed it all in really good and um, I've got my casing drying out or actually in the water right now I, I rinsed all the salt off of it and I use pre-tubed sausage casings it makes it easier to get them on the uh, and, stuffer um, I want to go ahead and show you that I've got it soaking in the water here if you're not familiar they come already run through a plastic tube so that you don't it takes it a lot to, it's a lot easier to go ahead and put it on the uh, sausage stuffer so you don't have to try to dig it out and um, untangle it and all that so it slides pretty much right on but I'll show you that when I'm sliding it on yes, I'm going to show you how this works this is the um, pre-tubed casings and what you do is just this is what I do anyway I just put the plastic right under here and let it slide right on and then you just slide it right in here comes right off so you're not having to untangle all the guts like you normally would it just kind of slides right on there a little bit at a time all right I got about as much casing on the air as I think that we're gonna need and what I do is I keep a good couple inches um, free here and it, I didn't tie it off yet because I don't want air when air gets in here I want to be able to uh, squeeze it out before I tie it off so I'm gonna kind of hold on to this and control it when the sausage starts coming out but um, I'm gonna keep a bowl of water here the water that I had the uh, casing in I still got some of the extra casing left in there just in case I need to make some more but I keep that full of water 
And what I do is I try to keep this as wet as possible, lubricated so that it moves, continue the moves pretty easy. And also I'll keep this uh, the sausage stuffer attachment wet too, just so it makes it easier when it comes out and when I'm pulling the casing down. So I'm going to go ahead and start grinding up a little bit. Um, I'll try to mute the volume down when I'm editing the video so it doesn't get too, uh, too loud for you. But I'm going to go ahead and start her up. And when I use my hand to guide it, but it's coming out. You don't want to overstuff them. And that's it, guys. I'm going to keep going here, but that's how you do it. All I'll right, guys. Be I back. About two thirds of it, actually, probably more than that, done. I had a blowout, so I got a. And what that is, just there was a hole in this casing, and it just started oozing out the side. So I just decided to stop. And what I'm going to do is I'll just put a new casing on. But here's what I got. I mean, I got, like I said, most of it done already. But um, I will go ahead and. Um, show you that so there's a little bit of air pockets here and there but you can always kind of smooth it out when you get done kind of before you start twisting it up just kind of smooth it out make sure you evenly distribute the meat but um, then I'm going to go ahead and and uh, when I finish grinding up here I'll show you how I'm going to twist them up and it's pretty easy once you do one or two oh, that's it guys I got it all sausaged up very little waste. I had a couple pieces left that I'm going to actually just fry up. And just a little bit of meat left in the grinder. Not a ton. Um, I try to, when I take the uh, sausage stuffer attachment off, I try to leave the sausage uh, casings on there for a little bit. And I kind of try to push it out um, into the sausage. And then when I get to the end, kind of squish it up so I can tie it off. So... All right, well, this is the last part, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it. Um, a lot of guys do it different, but I kind of fold it over to where I want the length to be, so about, you know, bun length or so here, and then you just kind of pinch it and twist it. Just kind of be careful that if it's overstuffed, it'll pop, so I'm just going to twist it, you know, seven or eight times, and then just go down to the next spot, pinch it there, and do it the opposite way, so if you turn clockwise the other way, do it counterclockwise the next. And just kind of fold it over. Do it the same way. Just kind of pinch. Kind of fold it over the opposite way. Like I said, six or seven, eight times. And that's how you link them up. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on the grill since I have it already going on a low temperature smoke. I just pulled my bacon off uh, for the bacon cook video that I just did. So I'm going to go ahead, since I have that already going, I'm going to throw these sausages on. Um, I just tossed some more wood on the fire. And I'm going to keep it still around that 180. And just kind of Guys, slow I'm, just, I'm going to use a water pan for these sausages just to smoke. Because what it does, it lets me hit them with some more moisture. So let the smoke sticks a little bit more. But also, it will keep this uh, heat down. It will act as a heat sink to keep the... Uh, temperature from that getting guys, too hot the in there. Is done. Um, I know it doesn't look like it does like when you buy it at the store. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. I did not cure this. I just uh, cooked it fresh. So, and I didn't, I'm not going to cook it all the way. I'm just cooking it so that it's done enough that I can throw it, bag it up. And then when I want to cook it um, for meal times, I'll just throw it on the grill, crisp it up, get some color to it, and it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and cook one of these up. I got one that kind of exploded on me. It's got a hole in it. And I think I'm going to cook this up and do a taste test with it. Got a big, like a 
it got shot. The hole opened up in it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the pan and uh, have a taste. And the rest of the stuff, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. I'm going to vacuum pack it and throw it in the freezer, and that'll be good for meals down the road. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Except for that little explosion in the middle there. It's nice and brown and crisped up. Cooked all the way through. And I'm going to take the. Mm. You really taste the smoke. Seasoning's not bad. I mean, I'd, I'll probably buy it again. It's not that bad of a seasoning. It's not too spicy. It's got a little bit of. A little bit of peppery kick to it, but not too bad. It's not like the really hot links that you get in Texas, but it's got a nice, it coats the back of your throat kind of thing. But I like it. Smoke out the oak and the, oak and the uh, pecan wood that I used came out really well. Still plenty of juicy, a lot of fat in it. Give it a try, guys, if you don't make your own sausage. I highly recommend it. I haven't done it for the longest time, but... It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. Um, once you learn how to, you know, get your uh, get your casings to where they don't explode, but you're going to have those every once in a while. But these turned out perfect. I did some uh, bratwurst and Italian sausage the other day when I first got my uh, meat grinder in. So I'll sh I'm sure I'll be doing some sous vide cooks with that stuff down the road. But these, um, I'm not going to sous vide them today. Just making sausage. So. Not everything's got to be sous vide, not everything's got to be grilled. So this is fire and water, not fire and water together all the time. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we make sure you follow our, Insta our Facebook. <laughs>